Hi guys, it's Kate from Yoga Woman TV. To be in the present moment, that is really the essence of yoga. It's that moment when you're lying in Shavasana and you feel the joy flood your body. That is the experience of the present moment. When you walk down the street after class feeling lighter, changed, that is having the experience of the present moment. And I'm delighted to offer you some new unseen footage today from Yoga Woman, from the great yoga teacher in New York, Nikki Costello. Most of the voices in the head focus on, are focused on something that happened in the past or projected to something that's going to happen in the future. When I first stepped on the mat and heard a teacher say, simply do this and focus on your breath, the focus on the breath brings us into the present moment. And that becomes a skill. It becomes a skill to be able to continuously lead your mind to the breath or to the present so that it's not that the voice isn't going to be there. You know, my, my, the voice is in my head right now, you know. How am I sitting and, you know, how, do I, how, how am I speaking or what's, what's coming out? The voices are, are sort of there, but the thing is, is that um, it doesn't matter because you learn to, to actually be uh, present. You learn to actually be, uh, be here, you know, mm -hmm. in, in this moment. And let me just take it a step further. Why is it important to be in the present? It gives you the capacity to make connection. Because if I want to make a connection with somebody that's in, you know, in front of me, then I have to really see them. You know, I have to, I have to see them with my eyes. If they're speaking to me, I have to hear them. You know, I have to be with another person. And honestly, if I'm going into Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog, and I'm asked to look at my fingers and spread them, or I ask a student, spread your fingers, look at them, see that they're spreading, it starts to train the mind to focus and be present and see that something's actually happening. And then breathe and feel what's actually happening and listen and hear what's actually happening. So the practice of yoga is taking the, the, the senses that we, that we normally, um, you know, seeing and hearing and feeling and touching and smelling and um, tasting, and it's taking all the senses and it's saying, absorb yourself in that now, rather than having them be focused, you know, outside and sort of scattered and dispersed. So this whole idea of being present or being focused is giving us the opportunity to start to train the mind to connect. And first I'm getting to connect with myself. And then I get to connect with another person. And then I get to connect with, you know, with my work. And then I get to connect with, you know, the world. And then I get to con so it's you know, and that idea for me of like starting to understand how I'm feeling and being in contact with myself also allows me to be present to my own feelings, also allows me to deal with my mind and, you know, the stuff that can go on in my head. And I have a moment of pause where I can say, is that really me or is me this person who's sitting here? breathing, present. Mm -hmm.